musical guests play rock and roll boogie the way it used to be played before bands sold out to the man. Now, I don't know who that man is, but we're about to send him a message with an exclamation point. With their song, The Mad Man Sleeps, from their latest CD, The Violent Bear It Away, making their television network debut, please welcome The Izzy's. The Mad Mad Sleeps from the CD, The Violet, Bear It Away. It's the Izzy's. Welcome to Backstage. Thanks for having us. And first of all, gentlemen, can I get a ladder? Because <laughs> you are the tallest band that not only we've ever had in our studios, but probably in, in existence. Well, tallest band in show business. The tallest band in show business. I feel, I feel like Ryan Seacrest right now because people don't know that, <laughs> that Seacrest is 4-1. <laughs> So, oh and you guys are, yeah, he's 4-1, it's, it's hard to believe. Mike Story, you're the lead singer and guitarist. Why didn't you introduce the rest of the guys in the I'd band? Like it's Crazy Jack Dawson on guitar, Aaron Redlin on bass, Ethan Schmidt on the drums. And you, Mike Story, are part of a band that's bringing a back a do-it-yourself attitude. Explain that, you have a, a real do-it-yourself spirit to this CD. Yeah, things have just kind of, in the music business, become a little overdone. And uh, we try to record ourselves, we build our own amps, um, just kind of record ourselves in strange places like uh, loading docks and in our living room or what else, wherever and um, you know just try to make it a little more fun and a little more unusual to put our you own... build your own amps. Yeah. Now the other bands out there are putting everything through a computer you know they can't sing on tune but the computer through its magic makes them sing on, uh, sing on tune. Why go back to such early days, pioneering days of music? Why do it? Uh, there's an excitement to it and I never said that I could sing on tune but... <laughs> <laughs> But I try, and um, yeah, no, it's just, it's like about, it's more like trying to capture an exciting moment 
Uh, so it's more of like our recordings are more like sh snapshots. You know, we don't labor ourselves in the studio a lot. We try to just go in there, hang, capture the song after a couple of song after a couple of takes, and just uh, have the you know the energy there. Does does that translate better live when you guys are playing shows? That what they hear on this disc is what they hear when they come to your show. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because um, you know we can pretty much pull off all the feats that are there on the CD, and if we couldn't, we wouldn't put them there. When you hear somebody lip syncing, what what goes through your mind as a purist? Well, I'm not a I'm not a snob about it. You know, I think uh, there are people who are performers. You know, Britney Spears has to dance around. So she's probably <laughs> really out of breath. So <laughs> she wants to lip sync. That's her business. But uh, you know, I don't want to. Well, yeah, tall guys, it's a little tougher. Yeah. To, to dance like I that. I forget the lyrics to my own word <laughs> or to my own songs and end up <laughs> it would all be out of sync. It wouldn't look very good. You know, when you go on, on to your your space, your MySpace page, right. which is. Uh, MySpace forward, uh, forward slash the Izzy's. When you go to that, it says musical influences, Hank Williams, mm -hmm. music from a mean bottle. Right. Explain that. Uh, that was how Hank Williams explained his music, actually. So uh, I thought that was appropriate, you know. Um, it was just uh, trying to just capture a moment, you know, as far as uh, explaining where his music, where his heart was, and, you know, sort of the rough and tumble lifestyle that he was leading. And they can get your tunes on iTunes, but when they call up the category, it comes up rock. That doesn't really describe what you guys are doing. Yeah, we're sort of all over the place. I mean, we like old American folk music, honky tonk, blues, uh, rhythm, early rhythm and blues, soul music. So we kind of reflect a lot more of that earlier rock and roll in that, like, you know, we don't feel like we have to play the same song ten times over again. We kind of stretch out and we'll do a country waltz or, you know. Well, you guys do it very well Thank you. for tall people. We try to. And if they want to get that live experience, they can catch it in New York every... Yeah, we uh, have a residency in New York at a place called Lakeside Lounge. It's um, on the Lower East Side. And it, we, we play every first Saturday of the month without fail. So mark your calendars. You can also hear the next song you're going to play, which is... Lonely. Lonely. Bringing it back old school, way up there in the atmosphere. Ladies and gentlemen, the Izzy's. All right. So 